had to get gas in the van. I took the long way around. And I just took Panda out. That's where I'm still in my sweatshirt and hat. And I got my Pop Fit packaging. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get box charms. I don't know. I kind of put that one on pause for the month. I'm not sure if I like Boxy Charm anymore. Some of the products is good, but I'm not sure. But here we go. I got another bag. I have to find them all. I've been putting them away safely. See how many are, because I have to give them away. I don't need that many cinch bags. So, and I got another pair of socks I can give away, because they're okay, but I like certain thickness in my socks. So, not always buy the no-nonsense no socks or nike that's the only thing i like from nike is their socks and my leggings for the month guys today i'm, I'm in, like, like feeling you know how you sometimes you feel like when you wear certain things like my sweatshirt i'm feeling more room around my shoulders i don't know why i got this one before guys i don't know if it's a different sometimes it's like a different length but oh you know what it's this is different see the, it's on the leg i have one that's this whole co yeah you guys remember i got this just recently and i wore it to the game and it's just it's black with it on the side so i'm gonna try these on and show you the picture so i love getting these every month because you never know um they don't have the best color like a lot of colors like they do at fabletics but fabletics fabletics is um big scam company i'm telling you this right now even though they have a celebrity hook to it i've already explained to you what they've done to me um they double taking double payments out i've tried to call no one answers the phone so i took i i, I mean several like maybe about four five hundred dollars worth that i didn't realize they were taken out i tried and i'm still fighting to find out who i can talk to no one no one answers the phone i know they have stores but they're not gonna be any help so I gave up on Fabletics. Um, I don't have a uh, actual credit card with them. The bank card that I had with them, I canceled, so they cannot take no money out of my account. I actually go in there and I skip every month just in case they try to push push a, a thing through that. I don't even use that account anymore. It's my credit union account. I I need to put money in there. Um, but yeah, I gotta get this uh, thing so Panda um, doesn't eat it. So, but yeah, um, it's been, it's, it's been a rough few days. I posted, um, pictures from the game and it, it actually hit me so hard yesterday when I started seeing Courtney's dad, who's the young lady that, that got killed tragically liking my pics on Facebook. We're not Facebook friends. But um, I tagged a few people that's on the team, and he must have seen them. And, yeah, it, it, it ripped through me. Seeing him liking my pics because his daughter wasn't there for that game. She deserved to be there, and she was taken very early, freshman year of college, 19 years old. So sad. So, yeah, I've been so out of it the last few days. I try to answer some comments. I apologize. I haven't gotten to everybody, but it's just been so hard for me mentally. And this morning, after knowing you know somebody died tragically from a car accident, you think people who are parents would drive a lot better. They still, they're getting worse. I've seen two, almost seen two kids get hit by a car this afternoon. And it really irritates me to know when, like, you got your kid in the car, but yet you will run somebody else's kid over. That's their mentality. They don't care about somebody else's child that could be walking across. And that's what these kids were trying to do, is trying to get across where the four-way stop is. And these people will run, and they don't even signal either to let anybody know that they're turning. They just go, and they, I'm, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm just going to win. I'm telling you, it'll be the, the end of me, because I would be in the padded room with a, with a nice white jacket on, that you know, with my sleeves to the back. Because I, I, I don't think I could handle seeing someone's child get killed because some idiot who's also a parent hit somebody else's kid. It's just, it's just in this morning, they were running, they were running the four-way stop. I don't understand the urgency of having to rush around to the point that you're going to kill somebody's kid. It just, just, I don't get it. I just don't understand the mentality of these people, you know. But yeah, so it's been rough. It's been rough. And I really appreciate everybody for watching, supporting me. You know, I'm trying to be 
um, as inspirational and motivating as I can be because I'm telling you, obesity almost killed me. I'm not even lying to you. Obesity almost killed me. I almost stroked out. I thought it was a heart attack. I went and they did all these tests on me. I had to take a stress test. All, everything they thought was heart related. They come to find out that I was, I, I was this close to stroking out. And they were like, you almost died. You could have died right here. That, if you didn't come in and you kept on, because I have a history of high blood pressure in my family and obesity makes it worse. And these ladies who flaunt around acting like obesity is so cute and fresh and whatever Emily Reed says, it's not. So thank you guys. I love you. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are very intelligent. And I love that because you guys leave me comments that I'm like, blows my mind sometimes. So, and you guys are just, just very positive people. And that's what I love having in my life is positivity because I live around a lot of negativity. It's not brought on by me. It's brought around by parents. So you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Enjoy your Monday evening. And I will try these on and get to show you a picture of it. Have a great day. I could tell my legs are skinnier, but my gut will be the last to go, unfortunately. Thanks, guys.